The Sephiroth Tree as a Program of Reality's Creation Excerpt from the Tarot Course, Part 2 The next step is also necessary. Here, we do something between the tree of current reality and the future reality, linked together by those injections. The logical tree depicts the principle itself. If we do this, we will get that. A multi-step program is created on the basis of these conclusions. Because if all of these injection pieces would exist on their own, it would be a true mess. They won't lead to a result. And only after all of these injections are included into the general program and are logically interconnected, would they lead to an actual result. And this means that these injections must be spaced out in time, not all of them at the same time. If all injections are introduced at the same time, the consciousness wouldn't be able to take it. Consequential introduction is absolutely necessary, from general to complex, or from complex to general, depending what sort of vulnerability has been identified within the consciousness. It goes according to a created improvement plan, because every injection will lead to a specific result, and this result will serve as a baseline or as a zero mark. Using our terminology, the result is written into the I am and it stays there, unremovable under any circumstances. And so, on that basis, the reset consciousness is viewed at a zero mark and updated new existential volume, and a new injection is added to this newly updated existential volume, which, once it produces its effects, will also be written into the I am, and the consciousness will be reset to a zero mark once again, and so on. This is how the existential volume grows with each step of the way, and the zero mark indicates the exact level that the consciousness cannot downgrade beyond. And the injections must be designed in such a way, so that the consciousness doesn't downgrade. So that each newly uploaded injection doesn't just add changes, but also captures the result. So it doesn't happen like, you know, when you have written a program, made some changes to this program, and then forgot to hit save at the end. Then we wake up in the morning, and all our work is gone. So, this is the same case when we couldn't hold on to what was uploaded. And we must start from the beginning until the next opportunity comes up allowing us to save the result. To avoid this, the injection program must necessarily contain this autosave, this result uploading function. And if it functions well, then, the improvement plan along all the ideally selected injection programs, along with programs of uploading, will allow us to build a certain map of events which will find its reflection in the world of Yetzirah and manifest in the form of actual events. Then, all of this we must then capture in the world of Yetzirah, because programs must be captured twice, so to say. They are designed in the world of Bria, and imprinted, captured in the world of Yetzirah. That is when they become functional, because if a program is captured only in your head, if you have not actually written it on the computer, no one will be able to use it. In that case it is not a program, it is a fantasy. We have no use for fantasies. We have had a lot of those, as well as illusions. This means that every one of the arcana will not that it is verified through the world of Yetzirah, but it will reflect itself in the world of Yetzirah. You will see the result. You will see it as if in a mirror. You yourself should not get down to the world of Yetzirah, you should see the result, but you mustn't participate in it. And this would probably be the most difficult part of work in the world, of Bria, because we are not used to being in this position. And what does it mean, to see results, but not to participate in them? First and foremost, we shouldn't have any emotions towards the result. So it's there, so what? Something that you've dreamt about for 20 years finally comes true. But somehow there are no emotions, and they shouldn't be there, because the emotions appear once you go down to the Yetzirah. And if you get emotional, that's it. It means that you must start climbing this ladder from the beginning. Of course, you could demonstrate an emotion to those around you, and you actually should, so no one gets alarmed by your strange behavior. But you shouldn't feel it. 
What you should do is understand what has happened in your consciousness at this moment. No tragedy is an actual tragedy for someone whose consciousness dwells in the world of Bria. No joy is actually a joy for someone whose consciousness dwells in the world of Bria, because from the point of view of Bria you clearly see that it is a reflection. And a reflection doesn't always reflect reality in a way that it actually is. This is how we would create a minimal amount of injections for ourselves, as many as we need. And these injections go from the 16th up until the 9th arcana. We would create a map of future events. That predetermines the future story. We will be working only with our own consciousness for now. We will see how it will be working through our own mind, through our own personal reflection. Those consciousnesses that constantly work on the Bria world level, they are called Magi. They create reality, and this means that they exist and work in the realm of the Bria world, at the least. Those who are programming this world are the ones who are designing those injections. From the point of view and presence of the 21st, 22nd and 19th arcana one may call them as they choose, black, white, dark ones, and light ones, there is no difference. But for the system of egregores as a whole, for all three religious egregores, for example, the entire world of Bria is undeniably evil, terrifyingly evil. Why? Because egregores in general, and these three in particular, are forced to use the constants that are released down to them from the world of Bria. Because they are not able to perceive those injection programs as anything else but constants. It is a requirement that egregores must follow. But nobody said that the world of Bria works to the benefit of those systems. Those systems egregores exist to serve, to execute. They are not the keepers of the actual work statement. And this, of course, is really unsettling to them, because each one of these injections forces a rebuild of the entire system, and the more substantial the injection, the bigger is the shake-up across the system, even an upload of one injection into the mind of one person who is somehow included into a religious egregore would threaten the entire religious egregore. If not a complete annihilation, then definitely some substantial calamities, especially if that person stands very closely to the core of the egregore system. The Bria world will always try to select a type of conduit, a person whose consciousness is either the core itself, or is positioned very closely to the core of the egregore system, depending on the level where those injections must take place. Such people are called mediators, or conduits. And generally it is very rare that these conduits work consciously, so to say. The majority of time they are being used without knowing it. If those people are unlike all of you, of course, who came into this process knowingly. In this case, no one would use you without you knowing. Any injection will come not just as an injection, but rather like a program accompanied by a set of instructions, and you would be understanding it. You absolutely must understand it. In this case, yes, you will be executing while transforming yourself, and you would transform by the means of some additional programs. You did not have these programs in the past, or the transformation would have happened already. And the reason why you did not have them before is either because you didn't get any due to someone else in the sublunary world getting them, 
or they simply are not yet in existence, not present in the sublunary world, they haven't been developed yet, or they have been developed and are just waiting for their time to be injected into reality. Whatever it is you may need now, that doesn't mean that all of that will exist, because the reality, I emphasize, is not being created for you. But you have a choice, which reflection to see, if you would like to see a reflection with some depth, not a flat one, but one where you can see all details, then these sorts of programs are essential for you. If you are content with what you see in the arcana of the sublunary world, then these injections would be ill-advised. Therefore we spoke about it already, that this moment is very important. One can leave after the 17th arcana. Speaking of it, it is still not too late. This is to warn you all. You can leave and nothing terrible would happen. The mind would just reap the benefits, it is not harmful. However, once you start moving into the 16th arcana, and until you reach the ninth, you should not stop. Absolutely impossible. Well, nothing is impossible. But the consequences that it would result in, you won't like it even a little bit, you won't like it at all. Because you would lose not only all that you have gained on the previous arcana, but possibly a lot more. Because returning back to the family home, so to say, back under the egregore arcana, means to return guilty. And the guilty ones must pay for their transgressions according to the laws set forth by the egregores. Therefore, try to stay where you are. If you think that that would be impossible, it would be better to leave now. Besides, that would be perfectly normal. In my time I had people leave from the Bria world quite often, because they understood that they didn't need it. For example, realizing that what you are hearing now is completely foreign to you. It may be said in your language, but sounds very strange. So, if this thought came up in your mind, listen to it and consider that it may be possible that you should stop here. The safety function of consciousness tells you, you would have to upload so much that we haven't uploaded in 20 lives. So I am giving you a sign, you can't understand what is being said. Injection what? Tree who? What reality? Where is the mysticism? Where can I take in the sensations? But, don't be alarmed, ladies and gentlemen, the sensations are coming. But these sensations will be of a completely different realm. They will manifest themselves in completely clear and concrete realizations. If the emotions will be used by you not as instruments, but as a reason for existence, they will quickly drag you down to the arcana of the sublunary world, where you will statically stay. So here is yet another scary story from me to you. But I do advise you to listen to it. Because what we are doing here is not child's play. This is a magical transformation of consciousness and magic compared to human success. Demands of its adept a lot more skills and competencies. Skills and competencies that must be written into the adept as an integral part of his existential volume. And if magic recognizes an illusion even in the slightest, one would be lucky just to be sent packing. One could also be harmed in the process for being a liar that they are, or simply for being someone who dwells in illusions, which is actually one and the same in essence. 